Ho, ho, ho. Let's do this. What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only at the bottom is coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Walmart exclusive Casey Jones and Raphael in Disguise 2 pack. Now, I am not going to ignore all the circumstances surrounding this particular release. I'm going to save all of those opinions for the end of this video. That way, you can get an honest look at the figures themselves separate from all that drama. For the package, really nice. You got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo right up there with the four turtles coming out of the sewer right down there. You got the open window that fully showcases both of the figures as well as all of their accessories. The top section here has that nice TMNT logo. The side here has some product shots of Raph on this side. And then on this side, you got some product shots of Casey. Come around to the back of the package and you have more action shots of them, specifically the uh, action figures. And then you have the actual characters right down there. You do have a little bit of a read up right on this side, but for the packaging on this, that is about it. So without further ado, let's get them out here and see how cool they actually are. All right, all right, all right. So here we have Casey Jones and Raphael in his disguise opened up and out of the packaging. And this is an absolutely impressive set. Starting off first with Raphael, because for the most part, what we have with him is just like a reissue. He comes with his two sides, which are pretty much identical to the uh, first release. Still a tremendous amount of detail in here with the nice silver paint here. You got the wraps going around the uh, handle and then the uh, hand guard thing right there. Both of them look really very nice. He comes with a slice of pizza. Great detail on here as well. Uh, we've gotten several of these over the years. You'll probably add this with the box of pizza that we got with the box set comes with several different hands you can see he's got some folding hands which work really nicely with this size uh, you have two different open hands here one with the thumb a little bit more out to the side whereas the one here it's a little bit closer if you wanted to do a you know whole a jose can single bet tell me you didn't pay money for this uh you could probably use one of these it doesn't look all that great because they're fairly flat, but you can still, you know, put that there and it it, it, it works. It, it's not the best, but it definitely can be done. And then you have a pair of pointing ones. Uh, again, slightly different. This one looks like maybe the thumb, the one finger comes out a little bit more. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it, they look like they're almost identical, but you do have that. That almost looks like he's flipping you off, but great detail on here. Nonetheless, uh, he also does come with several different bandana sections. The regular release came with them and we're getting them here again. They just plug in, uh, but they allow you to kind of display it on his head in slightly different angles and looks, which I like. That's cool. So all of that is the same that we've gotten. What's new is obviously the trench coat, backpack, and even the hat. The figure itself is identical underneath, uh, all the way down from the, the belt section, which can still be used to uh, store his size. If you want weapon storage, you can do that. Let's see, let's get that in there, and you can still do that. Uh, I mean, that works perfectly as well. You, you do have to futz with it a little bit more to get it hidden a little bit better, but that's something that you can also do. Now, uh, one thing that's nice is, like I said, you have this little knob section here. They actually sculpted in a hole of sorts, which allows you to kind of get that in there, and it sort of helps to hold the hat on. So just kind of get that in and squeeze it. Um, some people were sitting there saying that you have to put the, uh, the post through there. I don't think that that's the way that it's supposed to be um, because he didn't have hole popping through you just got to get that little nub uh kind of lined up with the hole there and kind of force it down 
and now you have uh, him wearing his hat. Uh, absolutely terrific. Uh, now, this is a cloth material. This is a rubber piece. This is also uh, rubber, but you can really futz with this and get them looking really damn good. I, I'm very impressed with how this turned out. A lot of times, the NECA clothing on their figures never really looks all that good, but because this is a trench coat and it's meant to be fairly big and baggy, I think they do a really good job. Honestly, uh, this is probably the weakest part of this set. I, I don't know necessarily if I'm going to use this trench coat for this display or if I'm going to use it for something else, which I'll show you. Now, you can't actually remove this. Uh, you got a very long strap right here. It just fits in there like a regular belt. Just pull that out. Pull that away. You can then open this and this is where you see the uh, full-on figure now getting this kind of out of the way lift this up uh, this piece it's a little bit tricky but lift this up and over the hands as best as you can so you can remove the backpack very easily uh, and the backpack has a really nice amount of detail on there as well. It is done in a, uh, just like I said, green plastic. You have some darker green for the little straps and everything. Nice sculpted detail with a lot of wrinkles and stuff. This is a little bit softer of a material, which is nice. It helps to kind of facilitate removing it a little bit easier. So you do have that. And then the jacket just comes up. I got a lot of practice with this with Hot Toy figures. So when you take that off, you are just left with a regular Raphael figure. And uh, for comparison, here is the one. That, this one is not one of the individual release ones. It came with the San Diego Comic-Con set. So it's the exact same figure. Uh, you have the ability to interchange the bandana, like I said. All you have to do with that is kind of grab that. It's a little bit tricky. Um to do just kind of wiggle that and pull that away it's got a very long post so you can just pull that away like that and then put that in there so you can you can alternate and uh, change the look for things um, I personally think that this is the best one because it drapes down over his shoulders so it works better for uh, tucking underneath the trench coat but one thing that I'm curious about, and I, I don't know if other people are curious about it, but I'm curious how it would work with the uh, cartoon turtles that they've given us in the past. Obviously, uh, this probably isn't going to work all that good, so I'm going to take this off, and let's do a uh, little testing of sorts. So, here we have Donatello. <laughs> yeah, uh... It works. It, it is a little bit bigger, and that, that flopped off. Uh, I mean, you could probably, again, just futz with this to get it looking as good as possible. Obviously, you would want to uh, put this in there. So let's slot that through just to uh, complete the transformation. That allows you, yeah, and then that even makes it a little bit better because you can tighten that uh, around his waist so it's probably gonna look even better so let's slide that and ding 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 yeah see you could totally do that with him uh, a lot of times the uh, the Ninja Turtles in the cartoon form wore trench coats a lot uh, every time they went out, they were basically wearing the trench coats. They were also wearing the hat, too. So that, for me, um, that totally can work. Uh, so uh, I, I think I'd, I mean, maybe we'd have to adjust this and have that kind of fit through there. Maybe let me that removes, too. So let's see. Put that. I mean, it, it, no, no, I mean, that, that fits on there pretty good. Um, look, I just discovered a, a new NECA release that they'll probably come out with. You can take this exact same trench coat and use it with these guys. Uh, that's pretty cool, if you ask me. So, while, like I said, I probably, I'm not going to buy, uh, four packs 
or three more packs of these you to, to get just the trench coat but um i think that that's a good uh option for anybody who may not want to use um that uh, Raphael in a trench coat that's certainly an option uh for you if you're so inclined uh let's get this off of them though so that that's cool to see uh, i figured that it would probably work because they're roughly the same size it, they are a little bit smaller than the movie uh turtles uh, so it, it is a little bit bigger on the uh, the cartoon looking ones but hey that's cool that you can do that so uh for raf like i said uh, exact same figure for the most part all you're really getting that's different is uh the trench coat here the backpack which looks really nice and the hat uh which the great detail on the hat as well nice wear around there good paint variation and such really am happy with that in general now getting this all kind of out of the way coming to the star of this set i believe here we have casey jones now accessory wise he comes with a ton in addition to two kind of fisted hands i don't particularly like the way that those hands are because they're done like this um you can kind of see they're not like a full fist it, it, it's angled um i'm not a big fan of that i wish it was a little bit more squared off in terms of the fist but you do get those you also get uh several different hands here one that's kind of uh i don't even know like a holding hand for weapons uh this is another one where you could probably have him uh, hold one of the flatter ends of the hockey sticks uh you have a pair here that looking at these uh these are pretty much identical from what i can tell which work probably very well with the bat uh and then you have um some other ones here i mean these all kind of look like they're basically the same in terms of the overall hole. then the holes here's a little bit smaller so maybe this would work better with the golf club uh, the wider ones here look like they would work better with like, some of the bigger handle ones like the baseball bats and such now you're gonna have to forgive me uh, because i actually forgot where a couple of these weapons came from uh, specifically the golf club and the goalie stick uh, i i couldn't remember uh, so shout out to those on twitter that helped me remember this was a weapon that he pulled out and used against tatsu and he kissed it and he's like i'll never think golf's a dull sport again uh, but really very nice uh, it is flimsy though that's one thing that i would say uh, coming in to take a closer look great painted detail with the uh, the head of the golf club some nice silver paint there some nice silver throughout the entire thing you can see that it's a little bit warped unfortunately i don't want to overdo it because this is really flimsy on it um, i don't know how they could have done a better job with that it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination but uh, i wish that that was a little bit more sturdy so you do have that if it'll focus on it so that's a nice one and then <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't even remember where the goalie stick was used. This was used when Casey went to help the Turtles after witnessing Raph getting his butt kicked. He showed up and he was like, yeah, you want to tell me what's going on with my little green friend over there? And he was sitting there holding it in his hand. And this is where I was like, um, you probably could use this like that. Uh, it's a kind of good holding sort of hand so you can put a fist in one hand and uh, like i mean let's see do something like this where you have a, a nice holding hand there and then you have that one which is going to kind of cradle it i guess you could call that that like a cradling hand but gorgeous detail on this as well you got a really nice wood grain pattern throughout the entire thing some great variations with the paint i love the detail in paint variation that they got in the hockey tape throughout the entire thing you can see that the knob here is taped up really nicely i, I play hockey so i know how this works so you have that nice tape job right there and then throughout the rest of it you have some hockey tape throughout there again real nice dirty detail in there i love how they captured that so i totally forgot where those ones were from so again shout out to those guys on twitter that helped me remember uh the rest of these were used when we saw the first interaction with these two you have a really nice golf bag um it is a little bit smaller than i would like maybe a little bit bigger so you can fit specifically these four weapons in there a little bit easier you have the semi 
soft and a strap right here that you can put over there but you have first off a hockey stick which is great I love it again you got some nice wood grain detail in there some hockey tape in there I even like how it even curves that's a nice little touch that I do like uh, it is a little bit shorter I mean it's right the right size for the figure but in terms of a hockey stick uh, a hockey stick should be a little bit bigger so you can take that you can put that in there uh, he comes with his croquet club or whatever this is called I, I know it's for croquet but again great detail the wood grain look on here is absolutely fantastic with the paint detail you got some tape around that as well tape around the handle absolutely gorgeous I love how it's shaped properly where the back section here is a little bit fatter and then you got a flat section right here absolutely gorgeous how that works you can take that put that in there as well and then you have yes the two jose canseco bats doesn't say jose canseco and you were on here uh fairly accurate by my recollection it had tape and everything on there so i like that he does come with two of them because he had two of them when he pulled them out and he spun around he's like i'm casey jones uh, so i like that they are basically the same both have a slightly different paint variation on them so they're not totally identical now you can take these and you can also put these in here but this is where it starts getting fairly tight and you, you kind of have to make space so you can get those ones in there pretty decently and then the hockey stick kind of have to just futz with it to to get a uh, uh a good fit in there so like i said i wish it was a little bit more rounded uh to facilitate all these but it's not bad and then you're going to take this you just bring his arm up and over put that over his head get that over his hair i like tucking that kind of underneath his hair so it's a little bit more like that and here you have him and this is basically how we saw casey as I mentioned, when he first meets Raphael. Now, these weapons he did not have in this bag. These came in later on. Obviously, this was found in that warehouse. Uh, this one, I think, was the only weapon that he had when he went to uh, kind of save the day. Which is fine, because it's a big-ass goalie stick. I mean, that's amazing. The figure itself, though, is terrific. There are some areas that I'm not a big fan of. I think they kind of look ugly. But... The overall look of this is wonderful. Uh, I think they did a great job recreating the helmet. Now, I did see online somebody did take this helmet off or this mask off. It is a separate piece, but it is glued on there. Uh, but it doesn't look like the actor. And a lot of people were like, oh, you know, it kind of sucks that we can't get an unhelmeted uh, Casey portrait. Um, apparently, uh, he didn't give permission to NECA uh, but I guess he just didn't know um, because subsequently he has started talking to him and seems on board with uh, giving his likeness rights so maybe we'll get an unmasked version at some point in time that would be cool I'd probably pick that up as well but really great detail with the hockey mask itself great straps on here you can see that the hair is all sculpted in a way where it looks like the straps are actually moving his hair around which is great the hair, hair detail itself is really very nice the overall costume is very accurate you can see that it is a, a soft goods sort of thing i mean this is a little bit more pliable i don't think you can take that off of them um no you might be able to i i, I don't really know but you got a uh, regular yeah, t-shirt of sorts underneath it is dirty which looks great the vest looks really very nice you can see the sleeves coming out here again some nice dirt on there i just don't like these joints uh now they're very similar to the turtle ones but the elbow pads actually hide that um they don't are they're not really hidden very well here so that kind of sucks it's like i said it's a little bit ugly uh, I don't I, I feel like they could have done a better job or maybe not. I mean, I, I like that they put a double joint in there. I I don't know. I, I feel like other companies do better double joints without them looking this bad, uh, to be totally honest. Uh, the hands are really nice. But again, the way that the sculpt is, you can see that it rotates and then it's left with this weird overhang. Uh, again, that's a little bit ugly when it's like this. It's perfectly fine. But when you rotate it. 
that looks a little bit weird. That could be just me nitpicking, but whatever. Uh, he's got his sweatpants on here. Uh, you do have uh, one single joint right here. You got that section here with the sculpt up there that kind of overlaps. So it kind of gives it a wrinkled sort of look. Uh, I like that they got his sneakers on there. You can see that he's got socks underneath, which look really good. But when you do move for the articulation, um, you can kind of see that that pin is right there, which again, a little bit ugly. With that, um, it's not overly bad. Uh, I, I, and like I said, I feel like I'm nitpicking in, in some aspects. First articulation, though, very much like the turtles. Uh, you do have a nice ball joint here at the neck. Uh, the hair doesn't really restrict anything, which is fantastic. Maybe the side to side, but it does move around pretty freely. Uh, the shoulders here rotate very nicely. They hinge in and out. One thing that I would say about both of these figures is that there does not appear to be any frozen joints, which is something that is very very common with NECA figures. So that's nice to see that they don't have that, but you have that double joint here and both of them do rotate. So you have a rotation up at the upper section and then at the lower, you can also rotate the wrist around, which is nice. A great detail with the forearms as well, like veins and stuff. That looks really nice. The wrists rotate nicely. They hinge forward and back. Uh, I don't know necessarily. I mean, he rotates. Uh, I want to say that there's like a ball joint up there so similar to how that body is i don't think that there's well no it kind of feels like maybe there's an ab crunch so you can kind of crunch him down fairly decently i mean i mean that's yeah so i mean that's pretty good but uh, you do have that you have a forward and back joint here uh slightly soft ratchet joints moving in and out which is good uh, this cod section here is a softer material as well so it kind of moves out of the way when you move it forward i want to overdo it because you could damage it uh, you do have a bend here at the knee it also does rotate oh i should say that the thighs also do have a rotation and then the ankles themselves move forward and back it does get a little bit caught up here just because of the sculpt you can't get a full range of motion but you can see that you do get a decent range of motion um, and then it's got the the weird uh, ankle tilt thing so you can do that, I guess. So articulation wise, uh, very solid on it. it. It is very nice to see. Uh, I don't know necessarily um, what else I would want uh, articulation wise in it. Uh, it pretty much covers all the bases. But there you have Casey Jones. Uh, the feet, you have to play with a little bit to get them centered pretty decently. But like I said, in my opinion, he is the star of this set. This is a nice bonus, but this is where the set really shines. But ultimately though, this set wins. In my opinion, the best aspect is obviously being able to finally get Casey Jones. And now realistically, all we need is April to complete that entire movie cast. I know some people will probably say we need Tatsu, but eh, I don't care that much. And while that is, in my opinion, the star of this, Raphael actually turned out pretty good as well. Yes, it is just a reissue of that figure. But what they did with the accessories in terms of the trench coat, the hat, the backpack, all are really well done. So it's a reissue that I really don't mind. Would I have bought it if it was offered separately? Probably not. As I mentioned, the trench coat look, you know, is fun, but I prefer the untrenched coat look. All the accessories are very well done, especially with Casey. They nailed pretty much everything. The only thing that I wish was a little bit better would be this. I honestly don't know how they could have done a better job with it though, because uh, I feel like putting a metal thing in here would have made it too thick, so I don't know. That's the only thing that I really feel could have been done better in terms of the accessories. But overall, this is a great, great set. Now, we get to the part that is basically the giant elephant in the room. The massive, what I say, screw up by both NECA and Walmart. I feel both are to blame here. This set went live on Walmart and pretty much instantly sold out. Even though NECA said that more were on the way and that basically there was an error on Walmart's website, it never came back. Specifically, they were like, there's more coming, keep refreshing the page. People did that for hours and the figures never showed back up essentially wasting their time. Now, they are also gonna be hitting various Walmart locations throughout the country. So if you couldn't get it 
online, you can do it that way. The problem though, again, scalpers. NECA really does encourage them. Not directly, but indirectly. One of the things that they do all the time is they constantly go on social media and while it's nice, they constantly talk about when these figures are going to be hitting retail locations or when new shipments are going out. That just means that people can pay attention and end up scalping them. I wouldn't honestly put it past a lot of employees at Walmart to use that information and then buy them and then turn around and sell this set for like $120 to $150. This is a $50 set, and at that price, it is well worth it. Maybe even a little bit more. $100? Absolutely not. $150? No freaking way. So in my opinion, both Walmart and NECA really dropped the ball on this. And that's not even the scariest part. Well, yeah, a lot of people wanted Casey. Raph was one that they probably didn't want as much. But using Target and Walmart as exclusive partners, the various cartoon turtles will be hitting Target stores. So characters like uh, Leatherhead and the cartoon version of Slash, that two pack is gonna be super hard to get because people want both of those figures. And let's not forget about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2 set, which will include Toka and Razar. That one's gonna be also impossible to get. I don't know what NECA can do differently. They have the ability to sell it on their website. They do so for international people. I don't know why they don't do it for... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they don't do it for, like, uh, local people. Uh, really doesn't make any sense in my mind uh, for that. And if I can get him to stand again. I had that posed beautifully. Um... So I don't know why they can't do it for US-based people other than maybe extra taxes or something. Or they could use Big Bad Toy Store, they can use Amazon. There's options out there. I know that Walmart and Target will buy a lot more product and ultimately that's all NECA cares about. They don't give a shit how much we pay aftermarket for these because they already got their money. When they sell these figures, they're not selling them to us. Don't listen to what they talk about and how they really want to make sure that collectors get these figures. They don't give a damn. They sell them to Walmart. They have their money. They're done with it. It's now Walmart or Target that will sell them to us and get that money back. So I don't know what we can do. I talked about this in a live video uh, a couple days ago. I really don't know what we can do. In terms of Ninja Turtle figures, NECA makes the best that we've ever gotten. I will say that now and I will probably always say it. But in terms of getting them, is a giant pain in the ass. So, all that being said, this is a set that I would absolutely recommend picking up. And they should be hitting various Walmart locations right now. So if you are looking for them, good luck and happy hunting. I would probably say the best way to combat things like scalping is don't pay scalper prices. That only really encourages them. But I also do understand and respect the fact that People waste a shit ton of money driving all over to the different places to try to find them. And at a certain point, you probably have spent more money searching for these than if you would have just bought them from a scalper for 130 bucks. So I get it. There is a definite balance with this. But as I said, good luck, guys. I really do hope that you're able to find your own set. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would do one very small thing for me. And that's simply just to hit that thumbs up button. That one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out and I would really very much appreciate it. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who through their continued support now more than ever really help to make reviews like this possible. And if you'd like information on how you can help support my channel by becoming a patron, feel free to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash optobotomous. Every single bit that any of you are able to contribute goes a long way towards helping me out. And finally, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.